Hello YouTube and welcome to today's episode of Disappointed Dragon. Uh, it's, it's a little bit different today because today we're not looking at blind packaging, but we are looking at something uh, that's on theme for my interests. We are looking at knockoff Transformer toys. Uh, as always, I was looking around my local dollar store, uh, the Dollarama, and I saw these. I've seen a couple of these before and they're always interesting to me. Uh, knockoff Transformers are nothing new for dollar stores. They've been around for years and years and years. There's actually a video on uh, Ashen's channel from, I think, like 15 years ago where he was picking up knockoff Transformers, which is quite quite a funny thing that they've existed for so long. Uh, these ones are the Dollar Store's own toy brand, which is, uh, you can see it up here, Mon Toy. And it's really interesting because they have such a weird range of figures. These ones, I don't recognize the mold. I feel like these ones might be their own mold, and I got them... Actually, because first off, they're dinosaurs, and who doesn't like dinosaurs? And second, they combine. <laughs> they combine into a combiner dinosaur like robot, which is really cool to me. So I'm not sure if these are like a straight up fresh, they made the mold, or if they're a ripoff of a pre existing one. Uh, but either way, that's pretty cool. And the plastic doesn't look that bad, which is another weird thing about Montoy. So actually, my friend did buy me a Montoy Transformer at one time. It was a uh, a slight retool of the Megatron gun, the one that looked like a Nerf gun back from like 2001 or something like that. Uh, and it was terrible. The plastic was awful. But I've gotten other Montoy stuff that's quite good, and these ones don't look that bad. And this one here is made of like metal and plastic, so I'm very curious to see what they're like. So... That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look just to see what they're like. This one was $350, which is quite a bit, but it is a little bit hefty. Uh, it's Transformers, 2-in-1, ages 6+, plus, and it gives you the scale, which is 1 to 64. So I guess this would supposedly be 64 times bigger. I have no idea if that's accurate. I'm not that good with math. Uh, Metal Robot Transformer Montoy. But the thing that I find the most interesting about it is on the back... It has a completely different head sculpt than it does on the figure. Uh, we'll open it up and I'll give you a closer look at it, but the head is very different. Of course, they've taped it so that it's more secure than the Golden Fort Knox. We'll take that out. Packaging off to the side and we'll take a closer look at this guy. All right, first impressions when I'm feeling him. It doesn't feel too bad. Um, the plastic doesn't feel terrible, although... It also doesn't feel great. The back's a bit loose there. And I can't move his head. His head is... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's zoom in so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So there's his face. <laughs> he has a very, like, monotone look to his face, which is very different from the box, which had a Bumblebee's battle visor. Robot. The back doesn't peg in, so it's just kind of free-floating. And you can actually see through the back there his weird frame. But the plastic doesn't feel terrible. I mean, he has a ball-jointed head, which doesn't have any motion at all. But it does feel fairly solid. Uh, oh, I believe his arm is supposed to bend. Yep, there we go. It's a very odd silhouette. Because he does his shoulders are very low. This, this does feel like a Transformer uh, based off of some of the really old designs that you would get from, like, the early 2000s, late 90s. But as far as it goes, it's not bad. It's a fairly solid little thing, and it's got, like, the die-cast metal for the, the vehicle parts, and the clear plastic is kind of cool. You can't really do much with it, though. You can't really do much with it. It has a little tiny bit of posability. You can lift his shoulders up a bit, I guess, like that, so it doesn't quite... Looks so hunched. He's got his little tiny thin arms. Let's see if I can transform him. If I'm not much mistaken, it should be a really simple transformation. You peg him together. That goes down there. Folds back in like that. Oh, well, that wasn't supposed to come off. I've popped his arm off the ball joint. No! Snaps back in. So this is kind of based off of, like I said, an older design where the the vehicle mode always looked better than the robot mode. 
that's always kind of the case to be fair with transformers when you get down to it it's always easier to do the vehicle because you've got all these panels that can hide details than it is to do the the robot all right come on you can do it. oh there's actually a peg there can i get it to go into that peg Hmm, let's see. Peg in. And you need to peg in. Okay. All right, now we've got it in vehicle mode there. And it does look okay. I don't like this uh, clear plastic top because you can see all of his robotic skeleton hidden in there. But it's undeniably a car. That rolls and makes a lot of noise. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, this is definitely better than the Transformer toys that I used to be able to buy from the dollar store when I was actually, you know, a child. Those things were so brittle that if you were to pop off the ball joint, that ball joint was shattered. It was not going to go back together and uh, definitely didn't have the, the die cast pieces. It's not bad. I do have my worries about the plastic pegs. I'm not sure how long they'll stay. Um, as I've mentioned in past videos, this clear type of plastic is normally quite brittle, and I'm a bit worried that the uh, receivers for the pegs off of the metal doors are going to snap pretty easily over time. I don't think that you could transform this back and forth a lot without those shattering. Um, that's just the clear plastic has often got terrible tolerances, so I expect that would happen with anything. Um, but you don't actually need that to transform into a car. If Even if those were broken, you could still transform, and it would probably stay pretty solid. So I, I'm going to give that a pass. Um, they actually have other versions of this one. They didn't when I went, but past times I've seen that they have ones that don't have the clear plastic, and that's the one I probably would have grabbed if they had it, because I just don't like clear plastic. But it's not bad. And this this big boy here, this one is $4. So an extra 50 cents, but you get five flavors of dinosaur let's take a look at that i do have to say i am fairly excited to see this one very minimal packaging though. so on first feel the plastic very light it's very light plastic uh, it's quite hollow. It does kind of feel like it could uh, smash at any moment. You can pull his head off. We'll take a close look at all of them. We've got our uh, long neck dino here. We've got the T-Rex with his big old laser cannons and his opening mouth. Rawr. Does his tail peg up? It does. Hmm. The, the downside to these is they have that feel of the plastic that you would get in like a, a Christmas cracker toy. It's the very light, very thin plastic. The stuff that you could realistically crush with your hands if you wanted to. So that's unfortunate. The plastic quality is quite low. I Unlike this one, which the, where the plastic actually feels, you know, fairly tough. These ones, it feels like dollar store plastic. Um, these I would not be happy to give to a, a kid because I'm pretty sure they'd shatter it. So let's see if I can figure out how to transform this guy. I don't think it's going to be very difficult. But then again, who knows? Okay, so... His head is the... Uh... Come on, you can do it. His head's the tail of the Triceratops. It just pegs in there. Okay. And then I believe... There's no instructions. I'm just kind of looking at the uh, the packaging below. But he's supposed to peg in like that. But that doesn't seem right. Yeah, nope, that's right. <laughs> his arm is just way up there. I'm just going to move his legs because I don't actually... Oh, you can't actually move his back legs without... Oh, it's coming apart. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So the weird thing is about this guy is that you um, 
You can't do too much with him. He doesn't have a lot of pose ability. I've actually already modified him a little bit from what they show on the, the picture to give him a little bit more of a longer silhouette. Uh, how does one... Okay. Okay. Gonna move that like that. I have a feeling that these are, in fact, ripped off of an actual mold because they've got extra pegs on them that aren't in use in this transformation. I have a feeling that that's because those extra pegs are for whatever the original version of this was. Probably for, like, weapons and things. Okay. <laughs> well, there we have it. There's his combined mode. <laughs> it's got like a candy coloring, as if he was made of sweets. It's not great. It's it's really not great. Definitely not worth the four dollars I paid. Not even not, like there's not even four dollars worth of plastic here. Uh <laughs> it's pretty awful. It would definitely keep me entertained as a child because, you know, dinosaurs and all that. I think they're actually nicer as dinosaurs than they are as a combined vehicle. Or, um, not vehicle, a combined robot. But this is this is just so much better. For three fifty, you get an actual working Transformer that's fairly skookum instead of $4 for that guy. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I would avoid this one. The plastic is really not great. I think I'm going to keep them in their dino modes because at least in dino mode they're somewhat fun. Although I don't think I could ever make this one stand without leading him on his tail. Yeah, probably not. Ah! <laughs> He's just coming to pieces. He's coming to pieces. Yeah, I wonder... I wonder what the original set of these was like. It was probably much nicer, that's for sure. Just because, like, um, if you look at the the Triceratops, he has big old pegs here. And I have a feeling that those must have been used for something at some point. As well as pegs on the inside. So I'm curious as to uh, what the original would have been like. If there was one. Again, I'm not sure, but I, I would assume that there was a, a non-knockoff version of this that probably worked better. They also have... um. You know what? The original ones must have transformed into robots as well. Because he's got little molded fingers on the sides of his guns there. And so does this guy. So I have a feeling that the original ones... Yeah, yeah. See, look here. These are much thinner, and I bet you that these used to fold up. Let's keep it in frame that these used to fold up on the original one. And these probably moved. And then it also transformed into a little robot. These ones do not. They are either dinosaur... Or combined mode. They have nothing else. And like these must have gone somewhere. Because these clearly aren't supposed to just stay on there like that. Because in his pterodactyl mode he's got little feats. Also I feel like. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure. These must have pegged somewhere before. Like maybe on his back or something. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, if anyone knows what the original set was like, stick it in there for me, because I'm curious now. But uh, this one is definitely the winner. I'm liking this one. I would have been happy with this as a child when I couldn't afford regular Transformers. But that'll do it for this one, guys. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and uh, maybe buy some Hasbro-branded Transformers if you really want one. <laughs> Until next time, bye-bye!